I know you say you was kind of like a, a, a problem child, like, man, like, getting into it. Like, what do you think is, like, the cause of you trying to, like, kind of get into a lot of trouble? Because it sounded like even though your dad was an OG status, he was doing what a father was trying to do, yeah. trying to keep you away from that life. So why yeah. do you feel like you was attracted to getting in trouble? It it, it really wasn't it, it really wasn't just attracted to getting tr where it was. It was attracted to getting in trouble because, you know, it was fun to us, like, as young kids, that shit was fun, like doing bad shit was fun. That shit was fun, like following the rules, it was never fun to us, like just sitting on the boys and girls club bus, going to school and just driving from school to the boys and the girls club, sitting down the whole time, like that was boring to us. But like standing up, cussing people out off the bus, that's turned up, see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like that's lit. It, it ain't just like I'm trying to do it to embarrass my parents, it's just like this is what it is. Like I was, a, I was just like a class clown, I was just like fucked up. Got you. <laughs> so, like, um, I saw, like, uh, initially, like, your passion before, like, really getting to music. You was in the sports. So, so like, yeah. basketball. And I love basketball. I used to love football before basketball. Though. That's okay. what's crazy. I used to love football. But I, I used to love basketball. But that's what's crazy. Like, I, I always see them little articles where it be, like, I just seen them today, actually, like, where, where it be, like, this was niggas in high school and this niggas now. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but what niggas actually don't know, I was on the team with like real gangsters, like like really going, like niggas that was really going through shit. See what I'm saying? Like gotcha. niggas that I built it a bond with just on basketball. Like we brothers now. See what I'm saying? Like I know what you going through at home. You know what I'm going through at home. Like we gonna leave it all on the court. See what I'm saying? Like people don't, see what I'm saying? People don't, people don't know the background of playing basketball. People just think it's a sport. They telling you what to do, but it's really like, it's really like basketball is a, off the court sport to me, see what gotcha. I'm saying? It's like an off the court sport to me because at the same time, basketball, you got to think, you got to be smart, and at the same time, you got to be disciplined and you got to be built for it, see what I'm saying? Like, and it was a lot of people that were struggling and didn't have mamas and didn't have shit that was on my team. So at the same time, like, it was gangsters on my team and people that was having monitors on, and you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. People that couldn't stay on the team because they were failing classes, like, that shit came with a lot. So. Don't think people just pussy just because they play the sport. Like, that ain't what it is. No doubt. So, like, if if you could go back and change, being that you, because, like, from here from the Dallas, I mean, from the uh, Dirty Glove Bastard interview, you was actually pretty good at basketball. Yeah, for sure. Everybody, everybody that know me know I was raw at basketball. Like, that what my daddy thought I was going to be. My daddy thought I was going to be in the NBA. Like, that's how good I was at basketball. Like, from middle school, everybody knew me from basketball, basketball. So at the same time, like the people are trying to use that. See what I'm saying? So knowing that what you know now, if you could go back, would you change anything? Would mm -mm. you do something different? I wouldn't do nothing I did different because at the same time, like I'm still who I am. Like I don't let nobody say nothing or let nothing go past me to for me to believe like, oh, they probably right. Now I know who I am. See what I'm saying? Right. Like I had talked with my partners, like I just had to talk with all my gang members in the kitchen. Like the other day, I was telling them, like, bro, to be a real nigga is hard. Like it's it's, it's hard. Like it's certain shit that you got to do. It's certain shit that you can't do. See what I'm saying? That's a real nigga. Like even if you want to go to this party, bad as fuck. But your partner don't fuck with the niggas at that party. But them, but they don't got no, they don't got no problem with you. See what I'm saying? They don't got a problem with you, but. It's niggas that go to that party still and just vibe out and I don't even say nothing to them niggas, but your partner don't like them. Like, that's fake. You know what I'm saying? It's hard gotcha. to be a real nigga. Or like, I just made an example, like going in the restroom. If you go in the restroom, you finna take a shower or whatever the case is, and, and you get and you take all your clothes off, you a grown man. Whatever you do in the mirror to yourself, nobody is looking. You still like not a real nigga because it's, it's more. Like, you got, see what I'm saying? Gotcha. It's like you got to be you at all times. Like. It's different, like you. It's hard to be a real nigga. I, I I like the fact that you brought a real nigga, right? Because yeah. like when we we look at hip hop culture, the two words that get strung around a lot is the streets. Everybody talk about the streets. I'm in the streets, yeah. and everybody talk about real nigga. So according to Kenny B, what is a real nigga, and what do you consider in the streets? I a real nigga to me. This is a real nigga to me. For one, I always, I always like came across a nigga like what made me mad, a nigga that act a certain way, 
and then act a different certain way in front of somebody. See what I'm saying? Okay. Act some a different way in front um in front of somebody else. Gotcha. And then like if you if you act the same in front of everybody, you the same goofy, you the same. See what I'm saying? Me, I'm the same in front of everybody. Like I be goofy, I'm funny, I'm see what I'm saying? I make I make somebody take my kindness for weakness just because I'm the same in front of everybody. See what I'm saying? Gotcha. I don't care if it's Obama, I'ma still crack jokes and do me. See what I'm saying? I'm the same in front of everybody. Like, but how I feel like a real nigga is taking care of your responsibilities. Like, like me, everybody know me in my city from taking care of responsibility, basically like stepping up. I ain't, I ain't gonna speak too much on it, but stepping up and being the man. See what I'm saying? Like early. Like apartments, cars, Atlanta, like always, see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like that that's a real nigga. Like, and then at the same time, me is I got buku people that's in jail. I send money to, I put money on the phone. I that's a real nigga, see what I'm saying? It's just like certain shit. That's what I feel like a real nigga is like being there for your people and being there for yourself, like staying true to yourself. Okay. And so then on the second question, the, oh, streets. In the streets. In the streets, um, that's what I feel like. I don't feel like when people be saying they in the streets, like for as trapping and just tra having a trap house in the streets with the, I don't feel like that's in the streets. I feel like in the streets is what we was like. We were damn near homeless. Like we had, we was homeless damn near every school year. See what I'm saying? We was homeless damn near every other summer. See what I'm saying? Like our clothes getting burnt up, our houses getting burnt up. See what I'm saying? Like in the streets. So I'm saying you in the streets trying to survive. You in the streets trying to. Find some money to eat. You in the streets trying to rob. Gotcha. See what I'm saying? That's in the streets. In the streets trapping, and you got a big mama has to go to. You're not in the streets. See what I'm saying? You have a choice. That you're in the streets by choice. You're not in the streets. So I hate when people say that at the same time. So that's why I feel like in the streets is like when you don't have a choice or when you was born in the streets. So let me play devil's advocate. Because being that your dad won the money that he won and he had a nice crib out there. Yeah. How did you end up homeless when you know you? you had your pops to actually go to and have somewhere stable. Cause at the same time, I was, me and my, at, um, going back to where I said my daddy had 10 and my mom had 10. Got you. See what I'm saying? So I was on my mom's side, my dad, see what I'm saying? So he had other kids in the family and my, and my mom had kids in the family. So it just wasn't like, and then like, he stayed all the way over there. If I wanted to go stay with him, I had to switch schools and all that, see what I'm saying? So it was just like, I'm going through what my mom and them going through. I don't want to quit and gotcha. change and go over, see what I'm saying? I ain't never say I want to move with my daddy or my granny when time got hard. My mom, I wanted to be there and be a real nigga. Try to be saying? the man of that household yeah, over there to back mom. to a real nigga, that's another example. Like, okay. 